What's up, ladies and gentlemen? It is White Gamer. Today we have the best CM build for level 25, level 50, level 75, and level 100. This first one is going to be for level 25. So, your position, you're going to go with an actual CM. Height, we're going to go with 5'9. Weight, we're going with 141 pounds. Now, for your playstyle plus, you're only going to have one slot unlocked. And guys, I recommend going with Tiki Taco Plus. It's going to make those short distance passes much accurate. And the first time passes will come out much quicker. Then for your regular play styles, some of you are going to have two and some are going to have three. So I highly recommend the quick step. This is going to allow you to accelerate quicker off the ball. So if you need to track back to your opponent or if you need to push up, really, really good. Allow you to accelerate a little bit quicker, like I said. Then we're going to go with anticipate, guys. So since you're playing CM, you're going to be doing some attacking, some defending. This is going to improve the chances of you winning those standing tackle. Then... Last but not least, guys, we're going to go with incisive pass. This is going to allow you to perform much better through balls, especially since you're playing in the middle of pitch, so you can send through balls to your attacker. But these are the play styles and play style plus that we went for level 25 CM. Now, for the running style, the one I recommend is the captain. Remember, guys, you can use whatever running style you prefer or even the default, but I recommend the captain. Now we have the skill tree for level 25. You're only going to have 48 skill points, so get these three sprint speed. And then we're going to fill out the acceleration. So you do want to be somewhat quick, guys, as CM. You have 85 acceleration and 85 sprint speed. I think that's pretty decent, especially for level 25. We'll put it up higher as you move up. And then from the shooting, guys, we're going to get the three-star weak foot. Um, at level 25, three-star will do the job. And as you move up, you want to keep upgrading that. And then from the passing, we're going to get these three long passing. You're going to get the vision. Then you're going to get the short passing. Now, this gives you 82 vision, which is all right. It's not the greatest. That's going to determine how accurate the through balls and the precision pass comes out. And then you have 86 long pass, which is really good already at level 25. And then the 82 short pass, that will do the job, guys. Remember, you have the Tiki Taka Plus. And as long as you're aiming it properly, you'll find your teammates that are nearby. Next, we got the dribbling, guys. So we're going to get the dribbling focus, and then we're going to get the agility. Definitely want to have agility, want to be able to turn quick when you have the ball. And then on this side, we're going to focus on the ball control focus. Now, this gives you 77 balance, which is all right. It's not the greatest, but keep in mind, you're only level 25. Then you got 83 ball control with 82 dribbling, which is decent. And then for the last skill point, guys, we're going to put it on interceptions. This gives you 78 interceptions, which is all right. But if you're nearby the ball, your pro should be able to intercept it. Now, we back out, ladies and gentlemen. You're going to be an 81 CM. Remember, the rating doesn't matter. It's the individual stats. But you have 85 pace. You got the three-star weak foot. You got 82 passing, 82 dribbling, 75 defending, and 77 physical. This was level 25 CM built. Now, we have level 50 CM built. Again, your position is going to be CM at CM. Height, we're going to go with 5'9". Weight, we're going to go with 141 pounds. For your play style plus, guys. Now, I recommend a few options, guys. The Tiki Taco Plus is really good for the short time passes and the short distance. And also the Incisive Pass Plus, guys. This is going to allow for the through balls to come out much, much precise as a CM. So you can find your teammates up top and send through balls and split the defense line. The next one, we're going to go from the regular one. It's going to be the Ping Pass, guys. When you do the RBA or the R1 and X, the ball will travel much quicker to your teammate and it won't affect it when they are trying to trap the ball. Next, we're going to go with the long ball putt, the long ball pass, guys. This will allow you to switch the ball or do chip passes much more better. If you don't use this, the ball tends to go really high up when you don't have this play style. So I definitely recommend the long ball pass. Then from the defending, we're going to go with anticipate. This will allow you to make tackles much, much better, guys. And I highly recommend it since you are playing CM and you are going to be doing some sort of defending. Next, we're going to go with the press proven, guys. This is going to keep the ball very close to your feet when you're not sprinting and when you need to shield the ball. It's going to be really good to make it much difficult for opponents to knock you off. Next, we've got the quick step, guys. This is going to allow you to accelerate quicker. You definitely want to be able to accelerate quicker, especially in the middle of the pitch. And then the last one, guys, is all up to you and how you play CM. If you're that type of CM that likes to push up and take shots, then go with the power shot, guys. If you know how to do power shots, definitely recommend the power shot. If you don't really shoot like that as a CM, then you can go with rapid 
or even with Ariel or even the Relentless because the Relentless will help you out with your stamina. So the last one, guys, is all up to you. We're going to go with Power Shot because I'm assuming some CMs do like to shoot. But these are the play styles and play style plus that we went for level 50. For the running style, the one I recommend is the Captain. Remember, guys, you can use the default or whatever running style you prefer. It's just a visual thing. Certain people like to use a running style, and I recommend the Captain. Now, at level 50, you're going to have 87 skill points, and I recommend getting the acceleration filled out. On this right side, get your sprint speed filled out. You want to be quick at CM, guys. You don't want to be too slow because you're going to be coming up against pacey players. 85 acceleration and 89 sprint speed should do the job right now for level 50. For the shooting, guys, we are going to upgrade it to the four-star weak foot. You want to have the ability to pass with both of your foot and even shoot with both of your foot if you have to. Then from the passing, guys, we're going to focus on the long passing you're going to get the passing focus, and then you're going to get the vision right here. Now, this gives you 82 vision, which is all right. It's not the greatest. We'll upgrade it later. That's going to determine how accurate the through balls come. Then you have 92 long pass, which is really, really good, guys. That's really good already at level 50, and you have the incisive pass plus if you went with that. Then you got 84 short pass, which will do the job for now. Then from the dribbling, get the dribbling focus. Get your agility filled out. We get the dribbling focus. We are going to get the four-star skill moves, guys. And then we're going to get the ball control focus. And then on the right side, we're going to just focus on the balance, guys. Get the ball control focus. Now, if you don't really do skill moves and utilize the four-star skill moves, you can always take this out and apply it to more ball control or dribbling. But we are going to go with the four-star skill moves for this one. Now, this gives you 92 agility, guys, which is really great. You want to be able to turn quick directions when you have the ball. So the agility would be good for that. Then you have 86 balance, which is deep, already good enough, guys. That's going to determine how often your pro falls when you're being challenged. And as a CM, you definitely want to have good balance because you don't want to be losing that ball too easily. And then you remember, you also have the press proven, so it's going to help out with the balance. Then you got the 87 ball control, 86 dribbling, and of course, the four-star skill moves, which I think it's really good to have at least a four-star skill move as a CM so you can beat your opponent from time to time. If we back out, ladies and gentlemen, you're going to be an 83-rated CM. You got 87 pace. You got the four-star weak foot, 83 passing. 86 dribbling, 75 defending, and 77 physical. This was level 50 CM built. Now we have level 75 CM built. You're going to go with a CM at CM, guys. This year, that position is good. And remember, you can always upgrade more stuff through facilities. Heights, we're going to go with 5 and 9. Weight, we're going to go with 141 pounds. At this level, you're going to have all your playstyle plus unlocked, guys. And the first one I recommend is the Quick Step Plus. This is going to allow you to accelerate much, much quicker, guys. And you definitely want to have that ability, especially in the middle of the pitch. Now, the next one, guys, there's a couple options you can go with from the passing. If you are the type of CM that does sense a lot of through balls, go with Incisive Pass Plus. It's going to allow for those through balls to come out much more accurate. The Ping Pass Plus is really good just for... Long passing or short passing in general, when you do that RBA or the R1 and X, the more power you give it, the longer the ball will travel, and it travels much quicker, the ball on the ground. You can also go with the long ball pass, guys. If you're the type of CBN that likes to switch the ball or play it in the air a lot, you can go with that too. Even the Tiki Taka Plus, guys. So there's a couple options you can go with. We're going to go with the pink pass because I feel like you can do a bit of both. Short distance passes and long distance passes. And then, from the regular play style, guys, definitely recommend the incisive pass so you can have that ability to send through balls. Then, we're going to go with the long ball pass. You want to be able to switch the ball from time to time, play it in the air, or do chip passes. If you don't use this play style, guys, the ball goes really high up, and it takes forever for your teammate to receive it. Next, we're going to go with Tiki Taka, guys. It doesn't hurt to have those first-time ability and the short distance passes accurately, guys. And, you know, you're going to be playing CM. You want to be moving the ball quickly from time to time. Then we're going to go with Anticipate to improve those standing tackles. Then we're going to go with Press Proven. This is going to be really good so we're, when you're not running and the ball will stick to you much closer and when you need to shield the ball, it will be more effective. Next, guys, this last one is kind of all up to you. There's a couple options you can go with. You can go with the Relentless. This is going to help you recover stamina. You can go with the Power Shot. If you're that type of CM that likes to take shots, Power Shots are good if you know how to do them. Um, or even Aerial, guys. It doesn't hurt to have that ability to jump in the air, especially in the middle of the pitch when a lot of people like to do chip passes and just balls in the air. So all up to you, the last one, Aerial or Power Shot or even the Relentless. But these are the play styles and play style plus that we went for at level 75. For the running style, the one I've been recommending is the Captain. You can go with whatever one you prefer the most. I recommend the Captain, guys. I think it's pretty good for a CM. Now, for the skill tree at level 75, you're going to have 123 skill points. So get your acceleration filled out. 
get your sprint speed filled out and then we're gonna get the pace focus this gives you 86 acceleration and 90 sprint speed guys you definitely want to have pace at cm you don't want to be too slow at cm or else your opponents are just going to bypass you then from the shooting we're gonna get the four star we foot and then we're gonna get the long shot to boost it up plus two this gives you 83 long shots which is decent guys if you went with the power shot play style you could still score just trust me you can still score as long as you know how to aim it properly on the power shots and then of course you got the four star weak foot guys you want to have the ability to pass and shoot with both of your foot especially in the middle of the pitch then from this right side we're going to focus on curve and vision we're gonna get the short passing and then you're gonna get the long passing completely filled out get the passing focus get your vision filled out guys the vision is going to determine how accurate those through balls and the precision pass comes out so you definitely want to have vision then you got 92 long pass which is really really good guys very good remember you also have the incisive pass play style which is going to help out with those through balls you have 85 short pass which is more than enough and then the curve it's all right it's not that big of a deal the curve as a cm to be honest now we got the dribbling guys you're gonna get the dribbling focus get the agility completely filled out you're gonna get the dribbling focus you're gonna get the four star skill moves and get more dribbling on then on this right side you're gonna get the ball control focus fill out the ball control get that middle ball control focus and then get more balance guys you definitely want to have some balance now this gives you 92 agility which is excellent guys you're gonna be able to turn quickly when you have the ball you got 88 balance which is going to help out when you're being challenged by other players so it's going to make it difficult for opponents to get you off that ball and remember you also have the press proven play style then you got 93 ball control 90 dribbling and the four star skill moves guys if you don't really utilize the four star skill moves that much guys you can always take that out and put more dribbling or even more balance if you want or uh more pace now, from the defending, guys, you are going to be doing some defending. You're playing in the middle of the pitch. The ball is going to be coming through the middle a lot. So we're going to get defensive awareness and interceptions, and then we're going to get these three standing tackles. Now, this gives you 85 interceptions, which is good, guys. That's that's good. That's good for a CM. If you're nearby the ball, your pro will make the interception. Then you have 80 defensive awareness, which that's going to allow for the interceptions, the standing tackles to come up much better, and it's going to help you when you jockey. Then you got 79 stand tackle, which is decent. The 73 slide tackle, that's more than enough, guys. Now, we back out. You're going to be an 80-rated CM. You got 88 pace. You got the four-star weak foot. You got 83 long shots, 85 passing, 90 dribbling, 80 defending, and then 77 physical. This was level 75 CM build. Now, we have level 100 CM build, guys. This year, we're going to go with the CM at CM. It's actually really good. You get good pace, and the way the skill tree set up is going to be really good. And remember, you can always upgrade certain stats through facilities. Height, we're going to go with 5, 10. Weight, you're going to go with 141 pounds. Now, for your play style plus, the first one I highly recommend is a quick stat plus. This is going to allow you to accelerate quicker when you're off the ball. So if you need to track back or just push up, it's going to be good for that. Now, the second one, guys, is all up to you and how you play. If you're that type of CM that sends a lot of through balls, if you send a lot of through balls to your attackers, Go with incisive pass plus that's going to help out with the through balls the pink pass plus is also really good because when you do that rba or the r1x it, the short distance passes or the long distance passes travel much much quicker on the ground next the long ball pass plus if you play it a lot in the air or far out on the pitch in the air this is going to be good for that the tiki taco plus does a job too but if i were you i would just go with the regular one so guys we're gonna go with the pink pass plus so when you do that r1x and rba the ball will travel much quicker on the ground now for your regular play style, I highly recommend the incisive pass, guys. You definitely want to have the ability to send through balls to your teammates or anyone up top. Next, we're going to go with the long ball pass. If you don't use this play style, when you do X or square passes, the ball is going to go up really high and it's going to take forever to reach your teammates. So at least go with the regular version. Then we're going to go with the Tiki Taka. The main reason we're going to go with the Tiki Taka is for those quick one-time passes. So if you're that type of CM that does a lot of one-time passes, quickly then go with this if you don't then you can use something else now from the defending we are going to go with anticipate guys you want to have the ability to win those standing tackles especially in the middle of the field this is going to improve those chances next we're going to go with press proven this is going to help you shield the ball much much easier from opponents with left trigger or l2 and then when you're not running with the ball if you're just jogging with the ball the ball stay really close to your feet now the last one guys it's all up to you. If you're that type of CM that likes to take shots from outside the box from time to time, go with the power shot. If you don't know how to do the power shot, look up a tutorial, but power shots are so good this year. You can even go with the relentless, guys. You can even go with the relentless to help you recover stamina, especially if you're going to be attacking and defending quite a bit back and forth, 
or even the aerial guys. It doesn't hurt to have the ability to jump even higher, especially in the middle of the pitch. So this last one's all up to you guys. We're going to go with aerial. Remember, you can go with relentless or power shot, but these are the play styles and play style plus that we went for level 100. Now, for the running style, the one I recommend is the captain. This is the one I've been recommending the entire video. You can use whichever one you like, guys. You don't have to use this one. You can even use the default. But some people like playing with running styles, and I recommend the captain. Now we have the skill tree for level 100, guys. You're going to max out your pace. You want to be quick at CM. You want to be fast. You're going to be coming up against pacey opponents. Now this gives you 89 acceleration and 93 sprint speed. Remember, guys, you can always upgrade your pace through the facilities, but this should be more than enough. This will give you 91 pace in total. Then from the shooting, we are going to get the five-star weak foot, guys. You want to have the ability to shoot and pass with both of your foot. Then we're going to focus on some long shots, guys. 85 long shot is decent, especially if you went with the power shot. Um, the finishing is not that great, but I think most of the times the CMs are going to be outside the box. But yeah, I think the most important thing is the long shot and the weak foot. So you can pass and shoot with both of your foot. Now, from the passing, we're going to get some curve. You're going to get some vision. You're going to get the short passing. Then you're going to focus on the long passing right here. Get the passing focus and then get your vision filled out just like this. Now, this gives you 89 vision, which is really good. This will do the job. That's going to determine how accurate those through balls come out and the precision pass. Then you have 92 long pass, which is excellent. 85 short pass, guys. That's more than enough. Don't waste your skill points on more short pass. If you're aiming it properly and you got the tiki taco, whatever, you're going to find your teammates nearby. And then you got 81 curve, which is decent. The curve is going to be determined. Those long ball passes, sometimes it has curve. Now, from the dribbling, we're going to get the dribbling focus. You're going to get the agility right here. Get your dribble focus, then you're going to get the skill move to make it a four star. Get this dribbling on this right side. We're going to focus on ball control, then get more ball control. Get that ball control focus, guys, and then upgrade that balance. You want to have high balance. Now, this gives you 91 agility, which is really good, guys. It's really good. You got 88 balance. That's going to determine how often your pro falls when you're being challenged, and you got the press proven, so it's going to make it very difficult for opponents to get you off the ball. And you got 93 ball control, 90 dribbling, and the four-star skill moves. If you don't really utilize the four-star skill moves, you can always take it out and get more balance or ball control. Remember, guys, through facilities, you can upgrade more agility and more balance and more dribbling if you want. But I think this is more than enough to get the job done. Now, from the defending, you are going to get some defending, guys, because you're going to be doing some defending, and the ball is going to be coming through you the middle a lot. Get the standing tackle and the defensive awareness so this gives you 85 interceptions which will do the job i promise it'll do the job if you're nearby the ball your pro will make the interception then you got 84 defensive awareness which will hop out with when you jockey and will make everything defending wise much better like the standing tackles and the interceptions and then you got 84 standing tackles that's what matter forget about the slide tackle don't waste your skill points on slide tackle the slide tackling is already good as it is now from the physical we are going to go with jumping, and then you're going to upgrade your reactions. Now, if you don't want to go with jumping, you can always go with strength, but I definitely recommend having either strength or jumping. Now, this gives you 80 jumping, which is decent, guys. It's decent. You're going to be able to win some or quite a bit of balls in the middle of the pitch in the air. Then you got 84 stamina. Again, if you went with relentless, the stamina should be more than enough. If not, you can always get more uh, jumping and stamina for those that want that. And then you got 89 reactions, guys. The reactions do matter this year for every position. You want to have really responsiveness on your pro, and the reactions are going to help out with that and interceptions. And remember, you can always upgrade more, more of these stats through the facilities. Now, if we back out, boys and girls, you're going to be an 87-rated CM. The overall doesn't matter. It's individual stats. But look at this, guys. You have 91 pace. From the shooting, what matters is the long shot, the weak foot. The shot power is kind of low. Again, you can always upgrade the shot power even more through facilities. You have 85 passing, 90 dribbling, 83 defending, and 78 physical. This was, this was level 100 CM, Bill. Hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Don't forget to drop a like and subscribe, and I'll catch you guys next time.